Hey guys, how are you today? I thought I'd come up on Periscope. Since I'm here playing with my spin art machine, I thought I'd just come and, you know, chat a little bit. See, yes, my hair is all, it's really hot. Hey, Nadine. Let's see if we can. Hey, Art Sherpa, how are you? So, <clears throat> this is just your basic kids spin art machine. Um, we all probably had them when we were kids, um, or, or teenagers, because 1970s, I was in high school. Um, and of course, when you decide you want one to play with in your art room, can you find a used one? No, of course not. And after I bought it, I saw Mark Montano's video this morning where he actually made one out of a fan. That was genius, but I saw it too late anyway. What I did like that he did was he made a ring of cardboard to go around to catch the splashback, which I like because it comes with this one, which is really small. When you want to put a bigger piece of paper in here, that doesn't work so well. And these are what I've been making. They're so much fun, and I could see them as embellishments on their own, or collage background, or just, you know, pages in a, in a little journal. Yeah, aren't they pretty? Um, so let's make some, why don't we? All right. Hey, Cindy! So I'm going to experiment this time, and now I'm going to get the paper wet first. I don't know what that's going to do, but we're going to find out. I got this one at Michael's. I used a 40% off um, coupon, and um, that made it not that expensive. So, all right, it's going to be a little bit loud. I am going to also try and um, tilt it. Let's see, maybe because I want you guys to be able to see. Um, I need something to stick underneath there. Maybe in my watercolor box. kind of see, right? I should probably put my apron on. <laughs> you know, I haven't gotten paint on my shirt yet, but what are the chances of that lasting all day? I know, very old school, right? But some, so, sometimes old school is good. Nah. <laughs> yeah. oh. All right, now I'm covered. So, you know, practically my whole, yeah, and safety glasses, I know, right? I did have the brilliant idea earlier to put some paint in here and a marble and to see what ha would happen. And I didn't have a marble. I had a bead. Where's my bead? I don't know where the bead went now, but I had a bead. And then I just let it spin around. It's a good thing it wasn't actually a marble because it whacked me in the head. <laughs> I should have caught that on Periscope because that would have been funny. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Now I did find out that if you control, I know, right? If you control the paint with your brush, you get something that's prettier like this. And the black lines are done with a pen. I know, hard hat, right? The black lines are done with a pen. After the paint is dry, I put the paper back in. Hey! I put the paper back in and then I used a black pen while it was spinning to put the lines on. Now, if you just drop the paint in and you don't do it with a brush, you get one that's more like that. Yeah, see, I might need one. I have safety glasses somewhere. All right, let's turn it on. It's, it's going to be kind of loud. I'm sorry.
really loud. Yeah, I'm making spin art, and it's really, really loud. Oops. See? They're pretty just like that. It is loud, I know, right? They're pretty just like that, or you can, um, you know, let it dry and then put um, uh, black marker or colored marker on it. They're really, it's really loud. I, it's probably, I don't think it's less loud if I put it down on the table flat. I think it's just as loud. Yeah. It's really, it's really loud. That's the only thing about doing it on camera, is there's no way to muffle the sound. This machine is a spin, it's a spin art machine. It's by Createology. You can get it at Michael's. And that's how it looks. Okay, so I know I knew somebody was gonna ask that. Okay, so the wheel just fits right in. Wait a minute. Oh, there's my bead that whacked me in the head. See, there's the bead that whacked me in the head. <laughs> um, the wheel just fits right in over this piece here. It just sits on top. It has these little fingers to hold paper in, but you know, of course. Do I want to use paper that's that size? No. So I put a little piece of double stick tape in the middle. And then I just take my, this is just um, craft card stock. And then I just stick it in the middle. This is battery. I couldn't find an electric one like that you plug in. That would be handy. Not that it didn't cost a whole gob of money. But, you know, I did see the one Mark Montano made out of a fan. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but it, it looked interesting. And it spins faster because it's a fan. I think it might be a little dangerous for me to try that, though. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that it's like 100 bajillion degrees in California again today. And I think all the stores now are sold out of fans because we've had so many hot days this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm doing the spin art for a reason that I can't really talk about yet, but it's for a project coming up. But I wanted to do it before the project came up anyways, because I thought it would be fun. They turn out so cute, and I've just been playing with different colors. Yeah, I know, right? I'm so dangerous to myself. See, this is some of the paper that it comes with. But I like the way they look on the craft card stock better. And this one, I didn't quite get it back on in the center when I did the pen, but I like the way that it turned out. It's off a little bit. So I know it's loud, but should we do another one? It's a real, they're really cool looking. It's, it's a cute little, you know, embellish uh, addition to your art journals. You can cut out the circles and use them in your journal. You can, um, paste them in as is if you use interesting paper. You could do it on tags. See, that's the thing about doing it this way. Um, the paper will go up the edge a little bit here, like you can see. And if you had the factory cover on, splash guard on it, the paper would catch and it just messes it up. Trust me because I tried it. But if you do it this way with Mark's idea of making your own splash guard outside or even putting the whole thing inside of a box, then you could use whatever size paper you want. You could use a you could put a tag in here and do spin art on a tag. You could do an envelope. Um, yeah, you could doodle on top of them. There if you think about it. This is just a new way to do a background, but and there's a million uses for it. Um, and it's quick and easy. You could do a whole bunch of them. So let's let's try something. Now that I said that, let's try something. My 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 whack my head marble. Okay, let's do something else with that. Now that I've said that, let's try something. I have this box that it this is part of the packaging that it came in. This might still splash me a lot. See them together. See what together.
I don't know. We'll see what together. So, oh, sew them together. Yeah, definitely. And you could put little pieces of fabric in here. And you could do, do fabric paint. That would be fun. And, you know, you don't have to do paint. You could, you could do this and do only marker. That would be fun, too. I'm going to get it wet again just because I think things spread a little bit. And when it's wet, and if you were going to do this, you could put a little piece of watercolor paper in here. And, and yeah, watercolor paint or water-soluble markers and let them bleed and spin. That would be really interesting, too. Um, let's see. I have all these teeny tiny bottles of golden fluid acrylics that I've had for like a million years. Oh, yeah, maybe I will. Let's let's do one more with acrylic paint. And then maybe I'll get out a piece of watercolor paper. Because I can't do it on this, it's too dark. Alright, it's going to get loud again, sorry. So cool. Kind of looks like a yellow eyeball. Maybe a zombie eyeball. And it did kind of splash me, but that's okay. I'm an artist. I always get messy. This is cool. Alright, let's put a piece of watercolor paper in there, because now, now you guys have me intrigued. What would it look like? Let's cap the, let's cap the acrylics, though, so they don't all dry out. I need a piece of watercolor paper now. Let's see. Ooh, I have an ATC card. I don't even have to cut one. Look at that. Let's just use that. Okay. Let's see. We've got our watercolor paint. Let's get them all wet and juicy. Let's get our paper wet. That way we have maximum spreadage on the watercolor paint. This might be a new way to do watercolor backgrounds. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I don't have any clean water either. All my water is gross and dirty. Let's see. Oh, all right, you ready? All right, let's go.
Nadine, that was a great idea. I can see doing this as a background and then just doodling on top of it. It would make the coolest ATC card. Look at that. The only thing when you're doing this is you're going to want to make sure you use colors that blend well together and don't make mud, unless of course that's what you're shooting for. Um, I didn't want to make mud. I know, right? Spin art. Who to thunk it? All right, now I want to do another one of those. Now you got me hooked. See what happens? I have these Zentangle cards. Do I have any blank ones? Maybe. I've got all these little scraps up here, you guys, because, you know, God forbid I should throw anything away. All right, let's try it again. See, now I'm going to be sorry I didn't go get clean water before I turn the camp periscope thing on. It's a good thing I'm not using an important watercolor brush because it's in the acrylic paint water. All right, one more time. See, can you see doing this on like the fan thing that Mark Montano, Montano rigged up where it, it spins even faster? I'm <laughs> like, that could be dangerous, but that might be really fun. Nadine, this is all your fault now. I'm going to be spin arting all my ATC cards. Look at that. Now I'm going to be sorry I didn't participate in the Hawaii ATC card swap because wouldn't that be cool to doodle something about Hawaii on top of? Watercolor spin art. Who to thunk it? I'm running out of clean table space. It's a good thing I have a whole bunch of these little pieces of watercolor paper. So this is, um, I think this is double stick carpet tape. I don't actually remember because I know somebody's going to ask me at some point. Oh, you could do that. Yeah, I can show you. So this is the double stick tape I used. I think it might be carpet tape, but I don't actually remember. I think it's from the hardware store. I'm also, I also want to try it. Let's do that. Um, Jerry, um, wet, and then let's do it um, dry. I want to do try dry without pre. Let's pre wet it first, and let's see about just dropping or flicking the paint on and see what happens. All right. All right. Are we ready? Okay.
So that's just flicking it or dropping it on in the spin art machine onto watercolor paper. That's watercolor paint. And yes, yeah, so you're going to get different looks if you use a bigger brush, of course, bigger pieces of paper. I started out using acrylic paint. Yeah, exactly. Let's try. Sorry. It's really loud, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to try on a dry paper. I'm not going to get it wet first. Let's see what happens. So this is on dry paper with watercolor paint on a piece of watercolor paper. I didn't get it wet first. And you'd have to get um, the kind of salad spinner that doesn't, I, I, I used to have one, it actually broke. Um, but it had a center pole inside the bowl of the salad spinner. You'd have to get one that doesn't have that, I think. But Mark Montano has uh, a video out this morning uh, making a spin art machine out of an old fan that he found on the side of the road. So I do recommend you guys go look at that, and it might give you some ideas for options. Let's do another one, because now I can't stop. These are available everywhere. Um, you know, Target has them, Toys R Us has them. Michael's, I got this one at Michael's. Some of them are ones where you push a button. I didn't want to have to be pushing a button. Uh, so the batteries were fine. And it is totally addic addictive. I, I agree with that. Let's try one more. totally addictive. So then once you get a few of them, you can go back to the ones that are dry. And, oh, this one. No, oh, that one's still wet. This one's drier. And I'm going to just use this black pen. I don't know what kind of pen this is. This is something that I picked up at Daiso. It's just a black, like, brush tip I don't even know if it's waterproof. It cost a dollar fifty. Turn zombie eyeball. I want to do one of these watercolor cards now. Oops. See, I was afraid that would happen. Now you guys are all going to want spin art machines. Okay, this is the first watercolor one we did. Look at that. Is that not pretty or what? It's almost too pretty to do anything else to. I 
and I like it with the pop of black. Um, without the coupon, I think it was around $20, but I had a 40% off coupon. But I've seen them for as low as 12 If you go to, like, the toy store, you're going to pay more for it if you get it at Michael's than you will be uh, if you go to the toy store. And, of course, you might, you know, find one at the thrift shop. I can, I've been looking, and I've been looking for, like, a month, and I can't find it at the, thr at the thrift shop, so I finally gave up and went and bought one new. I want to see what it looks like with one of my distress markers. Let's see. Or my brush tip markers. I've got these. It says spin art on the box, and um, I used part of the box to make um, this thing. It says spin art machine, and that's that picture is on the outside of the box. Okay, so for the splatter, working without the guard, it splatters a little bit if you're working like this. I would recommend putting it in a box, probably one that's a little taller. We have it like this because it shows better on camera right now. Normally, I cut this piece of um, cardboard from the box it came in, and I put this around here like that as a guard, and that catches 99% of the splashback. It comes with this, but this is really tiny, and unless you're using a really small piece of paper, um, this is not going to work for you. You know, if you're doing little pieces of paper like this, this would be fine. Um, or the ATC cards. But if you're doing these bigger squares like this, um, they, they go up the side just enough that they catch on this. Um, so I did. I put the cardboard in there, <clears throat> but you could get a box that's about this size and just build up the sides a little bit, and that and have it inside the box when you're playing with it, and that way it's going to catch all the splash and splatter. This one's still a little bit wet in the middle, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get it stuck down. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to try some of these. See, you could just even just do it with markers. Look at that. But markers with a little bit of paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, you could have a whole bunch of these. These would be cute on card fronts, and then you could just put either stamp it with a sentiment or add another little, maybe a tag that has a sentiment on it. Um, they're cute. That one's still wet. This one's dry. Let's do some color on this one. I've got some blues and some purples. You could send them out in Happy Mail. You could also put do this on Happy Mail envelopes. Can you say, can you see putting an envelope in here? Right?
That one came out a little dark, but I still like it. Because I just kept going. Yeah, that's the only thing is I wish it was bigger. Um, but see, without that little small guard on here, you could get a really big piece of paper in here. So these pieces of paper, it came with these. You're supposed to fold in the corners and then it fits inside. But without the guard on here and with the double stick tape, it fits like that. And then let's do one. Let's see. Let's see. But see, it's, it, it's too big. Hmm. 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 I almost think, you know, I'm almost thinking, I'm wondering if I should glue this inside of here. I'm tempted to stick some E6000 down there. So it doesn't ever come off. But then you couldn't ever clean it inside. But I don't know that I would care. I might care eventually. All right, let's do another one of these. Let's do this one. lot of fun. I could just sit and do this all day. Jerry, I'm with you. I could just sit and do this all day. And the watercolor thing was genius. So what else? Now I forgot what else I was going to talk about. See, I don't even know. I have no idea because I'm too busy spin arting. Oh, I know. Did you guys see my new um, YouTube channel trailer? I created it over the weekend and it posted yesterday. Um, I also added a list of, holy heck, what is it called again? Featured channels to my YouTube list. All of them have a thousand subscribers or less. Most of them have less than 500 and I know at least one of them has less than 20. So go to my YouTube channel and look up the featured channels list and go show them all some love. Um, most of them are um, just people I had, you know, watch on YouTube. Some of them are friends. One of them is my niece, twelve, who's twelve years old, uh, Sarah, and uh, a budding artist in her own right. She's got a cute little channel. I'm going to keep adding to the featured channels list and I'm going to keep it going. Um, you need to get on there. So if you have channels that you recommend, um, you want to recommend for my featured channels list, email me the um, channel name so I can look it up and add them um, to my email artist, A-R-T-I-S-T -T, at Gina B Aaron's dot com. G I N A B is in boy A H R E N S dot com. And I will look them up and get them added. It could be your own channel, that's fine. Don't tell me now. <laughs> All right, let's do another one.
ones that are kind of muddy even come out cool. Because look at that. No, it's not at all. My brush is fine. This is my Van Gogh watercolor brush, which is, um, it's, it's an okay brush. And honestly, the paint's probably doing it more damage than the, the spin art machine. But it's still fine, you can see. It's not hurting it at all. And um, this is another, this is one of my very well-loved acrylic brushes. Um, and it's not, I've been using it. And then I have, this is a, I think this is a folk art one stroke painting brush. Not that I would be able to tell because that's what the handle looks like. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I, I was using it and it looked fine. And it comes with these two brushes that you could use that are just really cheap and kind of, you know, not that great. But, but they do a decent job on here. Let's try using this one because this one was a lot of fun. Let's use, let's go back to this. And some of the acrylic paint. would make great collage fodder. And they're just dang fun, that's all. <laughs> and you know, I had this paper laying around, you know, in my studio, taking up space. Might as well do something with it. I want, I want to see what will happen if we just use only markers. Try it, shall we? It's just really fun to play with, and look at the fun marks that you get. And you have absolutely no control. <laughs> but I think that's what I like about it. I have this one. It's mostly dry. Not exactly. They're so cool. Exactly, Luna. They're so cool. And they, they would make cool tags. You could make them little, you know, make little notes out of them. They'd be cute um, holiday gift tags. You know, you could make a bunch of these in Christmas colors or whatever winter holiday that you celebrate colors on the front and then you can use the back to write to and from and then you just you know punch a hole in it and stick the ribbon through it and put it on the gift
see now do I want to do more ATC I'm gonna do more of this paper because I need to do this paper yeah see and this is a quick easy fast way to do a bunch of custom cards and if the friends you're giving the gift to are mixed media artists like all of us then they're gonna save that little tag and they're gonna use it in their art journal and they're totally fast to make they take no time at all to put the bead that whacked me in the head away. All right, let's try. It comes with all of these little pots of just, you know, like kids crafts paint. And then it comes with the prime these these colors, primaries plus green of more more fluid kids crafts paint. I haven't actually tried these yet. I guess I could See, if you can get him to make one that's, you know, bigger, and maybe and Jerry spins faster. That would be cool. Might be really dangerous, but it would be so cool. One, one that's flat here, and the, the base doesn't have to be any bigger, but if it was just flat, and then you could get whatever size piece of paper you want on there. I know, right, Luna? This here measures... It's about seven and a quarter inches from outside edge to outside edge, but the inside edge to inside edge is only six and a quarter. So if you had that seven and a quarter to like eight inches and it was a flat spin and it didn't have this depression, then you could get whatever size piece of paper that you want in there. That would be cool. Plus if it wasn't battery operating was something you could plug in would be handy because batteries are expensive. That's my wish list, Jerry. If you get him to build you one, just tell him to make two. <laughs> my husband could do it, but he's not ever home. <laughs> okay, let's try these other little pots of paint. I haven't, I'm sure it's just kids' craft paint, but not that there's anything wrong with that. It might work really well in here, so let's try it. And we'll use one of the brushes that came with the machine. Didn't have it stuck down very well, can you tell? Could be my tape is getting unsticky. All right. <laughs> Did you hear that? That wasn't a good noise. All right, let's try that again. It does sound a little different. I probably got something jammed up down inside there like paint. Or it could be running out of battery juice. Yeah, that would be my guess because I've been using it a lot today. My guess would be it's the batteries. Which would be why having one with a power with a cord you could plug in would be handy. Or at least with batteries that are... Um, I got paint everywhere. <laughs> At least with batteries that are rechargeable, which I happen to not have in the house because I don't know why.
All right, let's do one more thing in here. Let's try a tag. I really want to try a tag. I happen to have some tags. That's a great start to a happy mail, happy mail tag. Which is next month's Crazy Island Family Swap, by the way. Hint, hint to everybody out there who didn't know already. Happy mail. Get So get ready. I want to do another one. That, that's just, this is just a regular <clears throat> manila tag from the office supply store. And I had stamped this um, arrow pattern on it from one of my handmade stamps for this month's arrow swap with Crazy Island Family. So it was already like that. I did that in the video, demo video. And I did three of them. I've got three of them. And I, I always assumed I would add more paint and collage or something to them and do, make them into Happy Mail tags for next month's swap for October. So let's just do that, shall we? I'm using a combination of the kids craft paints that came with it, um, golden fluid acrylics. This is Utrecht fluid acrylic from the um, Utrecht.com. I've got Tombow markers, distress markers, the Japanese dollar store marker, um, and then Nadine's brilliant idea of doing watercolor on here, which is just brilliant. I'm going to be talking about that for a while, Nadine. If you're thinking you're going to do this to use up some of your paint, it doesn't use that much paint. <laughs> you only need a little teeny tiny bit to do that. I love it. Close up all my paint pots before I spill something. Because that would be totally like me to do. Alright, let's see. 
this one back in. Well, that was just not stuck on well, was it? I love that. It's the coolest thing. It's totally addictive. I'll warn you right now if you're going to go out and get one of these or make one. It's totally addictive. I can't do any more of the pen part until now until they dry. So I just wanted to get on for a few minutes and share my love of spin art with you guys. So I hope you have fun with it. I do plan on doing a particular project share with the spin art. Yeah, the blobbly looking ones. You mean, um, like this one, and then I have another one, wait, so that one, so I can show you how to do that, so I'm going to use, this is the kind of paper it comes with. And this paper actually fits in the little um, prongs on the plate. Depending on how much you spin it, it's, you're going to get more blobs. And so then what I did with the other one was I stuck it back in here. And you're welcome. I saw that post about, thank you for showing this. You're welcome. I just thought it was so much fun I should share. So then what I did was I did this. And then this is going to splatter. <laughs> this is going to splatter all over. Whoa. get it wet and it, and it runs more. The runnier the paint is, the more it's going to splatter. So like if you use the high flows on here, they actually splatter really well. Or if you just thin down your paint with water or um, airbrush medium or glazing fluid. You know what, I want to do something with that one, wait. All right. Oh yeah, I like that. So anyway, I'm going to keep playing with my new machine. Check out my YouTube channel. Let me know what you think about the channel trailer. Check out the channels, the featured channels. Show them some love. And um, I have so many other things I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm in here playing with paint, you know. <laughs> Oops. All right. I'll see you guys all later. I'm going to keep playing. Let me know if... Um, um, if anybody finds an affordable one with a plug, <laughs> that would be handy. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself. Oh, I'm glad. It's a lot of fun. It's totally addictive. You could just sit here and do spin art all afternoon. I keep, I'm, sp I'm supposed to be doing other stuff, and I keep coming back to doing spin art. So, you know. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you later, everybody. Um, I am going to post this on YouTube for um, a couple of fans that couldn't make it today because they're 
on the other side of the world, and they're in bed asleep, so um, they asked if I would, so I'm going to. And look for some of this spin art to show up in a particular upcoming um, project on YouTube uh, in October. So, all right, I will talk to you all later. Bye.